Today I'm going to show you how to create this blur effect with particles for text in Photoshop. I'm going to make the background black, select the type tool, click, I'm going to type in 3. By the way, I use the next font, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it. I'm going to rotate it, something like this, arrange it, double click release. Press and hold Shift, select both layers, right click and click on convert a smart object. And from here, we're going to go to filter, blur gallery and select field blur. I'm going to add another dot here, increase it, and I'm going to decrease this to somewhere around four. Click, and I'm going to add another one here. Customize it however you like. Make sure to not bring it down to zero. So the minimum is going to be four or five. So it's going to be a little bit blurry. So that's the main point, to be a little bit blurry. i also going to bring this up all the way. Look at that. This is maxed out, but it looks really dope. I'm going to leave it like this. Click OK. Let's add some noise, go to filter, noise, add noise. I'm going to check the monochrome because it's black and white. And I'm going to go with 1314 in my case. Click OK. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. And we're going to change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now let's go to the filter, blur, and let's select the motion blur and increase it all the way to 2000 click ok so now we got this motion blur effect plus the lens blur effect and now we're gonna go to the adjustments scroll down select the gradient map click on it i'm gonna click here add a blue color click ok i'm gonna go and bring the white here somewhere like that i'm gonna add another one this is gonna be orange a nice orange click ok and i'm gonna go to the black Press and hold Alt, drag it. So this is going to duplicate the color and bring it here and click. So this is how it's going to look. Click OK and I forgot I need to reverse it. Click on Reverse and click. I'm going to bring the black here. So it's going to make it more dark. I'm going to bring this more out. And this is how you customize. This is going to make it more orange. Oh, nice. Look at that. Actually, this is pretty nice already. I might leave it like this. Click OK. And this area looks pretty nice. So I want to change the blur. I can increase it. I'm going to scroll down, select the blur gallery, double click here. And I'm going to click on this circle, bring it here maybe, and increase the blur even more. I'm going to bring it out. Nice. Click OK. There you go. And this is how I make this motion blur with particle effect on text in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.